Hello everyone, good morning. It's morning here, um, but hello wherever you are. I'm just gonna share this on my page. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and do some live tapping, which I never actually do on Facebook, but we'll give it a go. So if you're jumping on, just let me know where you're tuning in from, what you're grateful for today, take a moment to breathe. I know that sounds really simple, but really the simple things are so profound. So, share in a group. I wanted to do this topic because I feel like so many of us have goals and visions and we're working towards so many things and sometimes it feels like it's not working out. So I want to share with you how to actually release some of that resistance and, and uh, work through the emotions that come up along the way. Let me know who's tuning in. I'll be with you in a second as I share and we're going to do some live tapping. Share on all my pages. Hey, Raluca. Okay, I want you to, um, I'm just going to take a moment just to connect in so that I can be really <laughs> on point with what I'm sharing today. Um, so I want you to place your hand on your heart and just connect into your intention as well. And I'd love to sh you to share with me what you are working on at the moment or what your vision is. What are you working towards? What would you love to create in this world? And if you are someone that feels quite frustrated right now and you feel like it's not working out or it's not working out how you envisioned, if you feel brave enough, just share with me in the comments because I can go back and address some of these things and wait and give you more guidance. So I'd love to help and support you in that way. But I want you to tune into why you really think it's not working out. So an exercise that's really powerful for you is to, well, okay, I'm going to start here. So this is something you can do now with me or you can go back and do on, in your own time. I want you to set an intention. I want you to create a sacred container to work through some of the emotions that are coming up. And I want you to set an intention, set an intention in this moment of why you're choosing to release your fears around it not working out. And if you feel to, just brain dump all that negative stuff going on. And why it's important to set the intention first is because it's it's just setting the container of like, I'm going to go into these feelings, I'm going to share the deepest, darkest parts of me, but I'm choosing to do that so that I can release it and shift it and alchemize it. So start with just brain dumping of like, I'm so frustrated. And we're going to go into some tapping, which will get this out of the body as well. But just brain dump and just go, just Say whatever's coming up for you. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just scribble, scribble, scribble. And then when you feel like you've unleashed that, like unleash that part of the monkey brain, I want you to write the first thing that comes up. It's not working out because, and just say the first thing. And then I want you to take that answer and go deeper again. So it's not working out because it's just not fair. Just as an example. It's not fair because... And then you take that answer and blah, 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 because, and keep going to see what's really underneath. So spend some time, if you can do it now, just quickly tune into it. If you're watching the replay, do this first, and then I'm going to share how I use EFT tapping. And I do do it a little bit differently if you're new to, if, if you're new to my work. Okay, just really get in, into that energy. You have the answer. You don't need a coach or a mentor, like those things are great but you have the answer within you. So feel into why that may be. And if you don't know at this point, that's okay. So why you, if, some, if any of you are actually writing this down right now, I'm going to share with you how I do EFT. So 
in this instance, because we're dealing with a frustration of when you feel like it's not working out, you might get really like, ah, like it's not working out. We're going to use EFT to tap more deeply into that emotion. We want to get into the body, find where that emotion is in the body and start returning it back to love, giving it space, allowing it to be and bringing it up and alchemizing it with our breath. So EFT is about looking at those negative thoughts, seeing if we can find it in the body and just popping it through. And what happens is a lot of the time the subconscious thoughts will pop through. And that's why I love EFT. Even when I do it by myself, I have um, people facilitate my EFT and also I do it by myself and I can release things from the subconscious that I would never have known were there. Things that like to my conscious mind don't even make sense, but they were in my body. So the more you get into the body, the more you can um, release this and alchemize it. Okay. So if you're going to do this, I want you to do the tapping from beginning to end. If you don't have time to do it with me now, don't start and stop halfway through because EFT is, is very powerful and it will stir up emotions. Okay. So we want to do in it in completion. Okay. So if you don't have time now, watch the replay of this and, and make time and sit down and do it. Okay. Um, get a glass of water. If you want to do it live, we want to drink some water and just take a moment to tune in. So how I do it as well is you'll hear me over exaggerate the words and there's a, a point to that madness. It's to get into the emotion of the body and get into that whiny ego. So I'm not doing it like that because I, I'm crazy. <laughs> it's about really stirring yourself up. And this is like a conscious meltdown. You get to scream, you get to throw things, you get to grab your pillow and like hit the bed or scream into the pillow, whatever you need to do to move that energy through your body. Now, if you've got this story, it's not working out. Some of you may have it on a basic level and some of you may be so freaking enraged and depressed. If you feel that way, that's when I want you to like grab the pillow, like, you know, hit the bed with it or like scream into it and let the emotion out. It's a completely safe place to do that. Okay. So I'm going to take a moment together, take a deep breath. And releasing and make a sigh when you release. And do that again. And letting out a big. And we want to open our mouth and our jaw. You'll see me doing this with my EFT, opening the mouth and jaw really wide. Because when you activate the jaw muscles, you're also activating the uh, muscles in your hips where we store a lot of emotions. So take another deep breath in. And open your mouth really wide. Ah, letting out a sigh. And just close your eyes for a moment, just hand on your chest, and I want you just to connect in. So we're going to open ourselves up to the energy, open yourself up to light. So just imagine light coming in from above and coming down your crown, your head, and bringing that light all the way into your body. So breathing deeply, and as you're breathing, just drawing that light right down into your body. And just setting the intention that that light will activate any stagnant energy and help move it. Bring that light right down into your hips, down into your legs, right down into the earth. And then bring that energy from the earth, like hooking yourself into the earth. So imagine the light wrapping around a, a tree trunk or something in the earth, anchoring yourself in the earth and then drawing up that energy from the earth. Just bring that energy up your body. Feeling yourself connected from above and below and now expanding your energy out. Expanding your energy out as far as you can imagine. And in that space of love, we connect into all that is. We connect into source energy and we ask for divine guidance and we ask for anything that we need to see to be revealed to us right now. And take a deep breath in. And you're going to begin to just start tapping on your chest. I remember just keep breathing. So you're just going to tap on your chest and just find any sore spots. So for women, you might feel some sore spots around here. Just tap anywhere. Um, wide hand is the best so you can get all the points. And I just want you to say in a very whiny voice, it's not working out for me. 
and I want you to get into that emotion. It's not working out for me. So you're going to repeat this after me. It's not working out for me. And I feel, and draw out that word, I feel, feel it in your body and say whatever comes up. I feel frustrated. I feel pissed off. I feel depressed. Say whatever it is. And I feel that in my body. And even if you don't feel it in your body, that's totally okay as well. Right? Just, it's all a game of make-believe. So tapping on the top of the ribs here for women under their boobs or for men just, it's like the, the bottom type of ribs. Wide hands, you get all the points. I'm just frustrated that it's not working out. And I'm so, now we're tapping... On the sides here, like for women around their bra strap, for men, just like say one palm under. And I'm so annoyed that it's not working out. Now tapping this point here, so you just like put your wrist together, so it's like under the pinky here. Why doesn't it ever work out for me? And get really whiny. Why doesn't it ever? You can swear if you want to. Freaking work out for me. I'm so tired and I want you to get into this like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of it not working out. And now tapping the karate chop point, I just do both together. And I'm feeling this in my body. And take a deep breath here. And open your mouth really wide and you're going to yawn. Ah, you're going to force that yawn if you need to. Ah, making sure your shoulders are relaxed and you're moving forward. Ah, and keep pushing that yawn out. Ah. Take a deep breath, tapping the top of the head. So even though I'm so frustrated, and say it like that I'm so frustrated I can love and accept myself anyway even though sometimes I can't stand myself in the corner of the eyes and it's hard for me to love myself because I feel like such a failure it's just not working out for me. And I want you to really feel into your vision. What is it? Is it a job? Is it everything? Is it money? Is it something with your partner? Is it just dating life? What is it? I want you to feel that now, all the things. I want you to just imagine and feel that frustration. It's totally safe to feel this now. It's, it's okay to get into the negative emotion because we're going to alchemize it. Feel that. And I want you to scan your body. Where is it in your body? And if you feel numb, because a lot of people feel numb too, just say, I feel numb. And I'm going to, uh, if you feel numb, imagine like dry ice. You know that smoky kind of look? Just see that all over your body and say, I feel numb. Otherwise, for you that feel like tightness in the stomach or in your chest or your neck, I want you just to bring your awareness to that area now. And just bring your awareness to it and just trace your your imagination around it, okay? And we're not trying to change the feeling, we're just bringing awareness to it. So saying it again, I feel this, whatever it is, disappointment, failure, anger, say what it is and say, I feel it, say in your stomach, in your neck, wherever it is. And even though I feel this, I don't need it to change. I welcome it to stay. And right now, I want you to take a deep breath and noticing that air in your body and you've got to yawn. Ah, ah, really wide, as wide as you can yawn. Open your mouth. Ah, and you're like pushing it out. And breathing in. And I want you to do that two more times in your own time. Just noticing that area and just yawning it out. And every time you yawn it out, just imagine like spaciousness around it. Okay, you're not trying to like blurt it out, just yawn. So two more times in your own time. Uh. <sighs> 
And your last one, I just want you to imagine bringing light to that area and just loosening it. Like imagine like this light laser coming into that area and just like loosening that stagnant energy. Breathing in and yawning it out. <sighs> Saying this feeling that I have, it just doesn't work out for me. And even though I feel this, I'm just going to love and accept it. Maybe this feeling is actually guiding me to something I need to know. And let's just be curious. Just say, what do I need to know? And I want you to say it like that. Like curious, like, like a little girl. What is it? What do I need to know? What is this trying to tell me? Maybe it not working out is actually showing me something. And that's kind of cool. But even though I have this curiosity, I still feel, say whatever it is, disappointed, pissed off, angry, that it's not working out. It never freaking works out. And I want you to, we're going to stir up the energy a little bit more. Stir it up. And if you have a lot of anger and rage, I want you to get a cushion or get a, a, a something, a pillow. And, you know, smash that pillow if you need to. Or if you need to, like, scream into it. This is your chance to get this emotion out. Or stamp your feet. Or shake your arms. Let's do some shaking for a moment. Just be like, I'm so tired of it not working out. I'm so tired of this feeling in my body. I'm so tired of it all. Why can't it work out for me? Stomp your feet, get into the emotion. Allow yourself to have that conscious meltdown. I'm tired. Get into the body. Take a deep breath here. I'm yawning. <sighs> So if you're watching this on the replay, if you're doing this with me now, if you need to keep going and you need, you've got more anger, keep letting it out. Keep letting it out. And for those of us that are okay to keep going, say, it hasn't worked out for such a long time for me. And I just feel sad. I feel frustrated. I really want it to work out. And I want you to think of why. Why do you want it to work out? What is your vision? And now just speak it as you tap through the points. Whether it's you wanting a relationship or you want healing in a relationship or you want money or whatever. You want your dream, your job, your vision to work out. Just say all the reasons why. In your own time, just tapping into that energy. Are you here to serve the world? Are you here to make a difference? Are you here to have children and raise conscious children? What is it? Just tap into that vision now and keep breathing as you do. And just saying, it not working out is really holding me up. <laughs> I don't want you to laugh at this. It's really holding this up. Why isn't this working out? So even though it's not working out, I'm willing to see what it is that I get to clear and alchemize. And just taking a deep breath here. Yorik. It's not working out because first thing that comes to you. It's not working out because if you don't know, just don't believe that you don't know. You do know. Even though my mind is telling me I don't know, I'm willing to believe that I do know and that the answer is coming. It's not working out because am I willing to keep believing that? Just go like that. Hmm. Am I willing to keep telling that story? 
What's the first thing that comes up for you? Do you say yes or no? And just scan your body here and notice, am I willing to keep this story? Do you feel like contracted or do you feel, huh, maybe I can let it go. So let's tune into that energy. What would it feel like if you let the story go? What if it worked out? What if you got a call right after this and you got a call saying the answer to whatever it is you had? If it's money you're struggling with, what if you got a million dollars coming into your account in the next hour? How would that make you feel? Are you willing to allow that? And it's okay to say no. So notice your body. Is it contracted? Just notice any subtlety in the body. Am I willing to let this go? Maybe I'm willing to let this go. I'm on my way to letting this go. Because I'm willing to travel across time and space to that first memory where it didn't work out. So taking a deep breath here, I want you to close your eyes and I want you just to uh, tap on a point that's comfortable. So either the um, here, your chest or just here. And I'm just going to stretch my legs because my legs are falling asleep. I'm like sitting cross-legged on the floor here. Okay, so we're going to just take a little quick journey. So I want you to say, I'm willing to travel across time or space to that first memory of it not working out. And just see yourself rising above your current body and floating back, 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 back as far as you can remember to that first moment, that first memory of something not working out. And just remember to keep breathing and yawning if you need to. And see yourself back then. If, it's, if you've got a memory of teenage years, keep going, keep going, keep going. If you don't have anything coming up, that's okay. Don't, don't try and force it. Just take moments to breathe if you can't get anything. It's totally fine. And just see yourself in that vision as a little one. And I want you just to notice how they're feeling and how they're being and their surroundings. So just see it with lots of color, what's happening. And then I want you to go up to that little one and put your arms around them and notice their eyes light up as they see you. They recognize you. And just sit next to them or if they feel like sitting on your lap, whatever feels natural. Just say, hey, little one, what's up? What's going on? And give them a voice. So as you tap through the points, I want you just to say what they're saying. Just let them describe what's happening. Again, if you don't get anything, that's okay. Just take a few moments to breathe with us. But just speak out loud what's going on as you tap through the points. Keep breathing and yawning. And then when they feel complete, I want you to imagine this light coming in and swirling around them, filling the space with so much light and love, transforming the energy of that situation. And now as your higher self, I want you to speak into them. I want you to tell them what they need to hear. What did you need to hear all those years ago? So just speak to them. What is the highest version of you saying to them right now? What's the truth? And just in your own time, as you're tapping through the points, just speak these words of wisdom and love and encouragement and keep breathing. And as you speak that, just see them filling with light. Imagine this light all around them as this little one. And just speaking what they need to hear. Tapping through the points. And when you feel complete, I want you to look them in the eyes and say to them, you get to have whatever you choose. And take a deep breath. Yawning. And then start seeing light, light swelling around both of you and bring that little one into you. And as you see the light around you, bring that little one into you, drawing her or him into your heart, tapping on your heart now. And you're one with that little one. 
and she has or he has been activated with truth and just choose to believe in this moment that lots of timelines have shifted as you have shifted in the past. Let's take a deep breath. Letting out a really big yawn. Ah, the sound. Ah, and just shake if you need to. And just tuning into your body right now. Just tuning in. See how you feel. Do you have any rage? Have you been activated? Have you activated in the sense of do you have negative feelings still? What are you feeling right now? Just tune into your body. So this is where I need you to take your own account accountability and responsibility. If you still feel negative and you feel like, ah, I want you to actually keep going through those points and get out the rage. You might need to like shake your hands. You might need to like stomp your feet, get it out of the body. It's moving that energy through the body um, and, and, and bringing yourself back down to more of a neutral point. Okay. And using a lot of breath to do that as well. So actually... I'm going to tune in for a second. We're going to start tapping on the positive now and bringing in those aspects. And this is really important. So don't stop here. Okay. Like it's really important to make sure we clear this and alchemize you back to the positive. We're just going to take a moment to do breath of fire because I feel like there's some people that may have been activated. So we're going to use breath of fire to move some of that energy as well. So breath of fire, if you don't know, I'll, I'll just um, kneel up for you. We're going to be like using our belly breath. So you're going to be going, so breathing through the nose. <laughs> It's almost like panting like a dog. So like a dog would be like, <laughs> you're doing that, but through the nose and your mouth closed and you're pumping your belly like, <laughs> okay, so just hand on your belly and we'll just do it for one minute. So you're just going to do one minute. And this is when you're going to be thinking about the frustration or the disappointment of it not working out and thinking about what you're calling in and choosing to release it through the breath, releasing any of that stagnant energy. Keep going. Thanks, Melissa, for that feedback. You're feeling lighter. Awesome. Keep going with the breath. This will energize you too. Getting rid of that frustration that you can't have what you want. 20 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Holding all that goodness. You've activated really juicy energy in your body now. Holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. And then releasing. Ah, make a sound. Ah, shaking your body. Ah. <laughs> and just laugh. This is all about like getting the energy. So just throw your head back and laugh if you need to. Okay, we're going to tap on the positive now. The good stuff. Activating the highest version of you. Just say, even though... It hasn't worked out yet. And say it like that, yet. <laughs> I'm choosing to believe that I can have whatever I want. Even though I have felt, whatever it was you felt, frustrated, disappointed, depressed, angry, I'm choosing to believe that I am a powerful creator. I am one with source or God, universe, whatever your word is. I am one with source and source is always successful. I know that this gets to work out. And if this exact thing doesn't work out, so think about what your vision is, what you actually want to work out. I'm choosing to believe that something far better is coming for me. <laughs> Maybe my vision, oh, okay, reword that. Maybe God's vision or the universe vision, source vision is far greater than anything that I could imagine. So maybe it not working out exactly how I want is actually going to work out the best for me. And so get into that childlike energy or like, that wonder energy, that awe energy. 
Everything is working out perfectly. Even though it hasn't happened yet in the physical, I know it's on its way. I'm choosing to be more of what I desire. I am love. I am opulent. I am abundant. And even when I think that's BS, <laughs> I'm choosing to be on my way to being those things. I'm a powerful, sovereign. Now claim this, get into your commanding energy. I'm a sovereign, powerful being of light. I am superhuman. The supernatural is completely natural to me. And I can create whatever I choose. And I'm allowing myself to be more of this. And any fear I have of having my desire, I'm releasing this fear now. And I'm choosing to do whatever it takes to release the shadows that are in my way. I'm calling in divine wisdom. I'm calling in resources. I'm calling in mentors and the support system to help me create my desires. I am opening up to more love. I'm opening up myself to the universe. I'm allowing the universe to penetrate me with love and life. And I'm removing the walls. So take a deep breath here. Open your mouth really wide. Ah. Ah. And I just want you to imagine yourself in a glass house. And you can see all of those desires out on the other side and you haven't known how to get there. Get them. They're so close. So I want you now to imagine that finally you see the button. So just notice on this wall there was this button that you didn't see before. And you go over and press that button and the glass starts being removed. It's open doors. And you step out into your desires that were always there. I'm allowing this into my life. And anywhere I'm in resistance to this, I clear and transmute across all time, space and dimensions. Anything holding this back from me or any part of me that wants to sabotage this I clear and transmute across all time, space, and dimensions. I command, so say it like that, I command, feel it in the body, I command my higher self to activate all that is within me that will lead me to my desires. I command my reality to be with me now. Say it again. I command my desires. So whatever it is for you, the relationship, the money, the vision, the job, the work, whatever. I want you to say it. I command this to be with me now. I command this to be with me now. And I release any energy that is in the way. And I trust the journey. I'm a sovereign being. I love the journey. I'm learning so much along this journey. And I don't need anything. I'm perfectly well and happy where I am right now. And I allow more of that to activate my day. I can have whatever I choose. I am love. Love, love. So I want you to say it like that. I am love, love, love. Like sing if you want to. Get into that vibration. I am love. 
I am releasing anything in the way of this. I am love, 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 love. I feel light. I feel light. I feel light. Notice your voice changing. I feel light. Get into that wispy. I feel light. And I'm calling in my desires now. Take a deep breath. And just yawning. <sighs> And I just want you just to imagine yourself, keep tapping on your chest, imagine yourself in that situation, feeling the vibration in every part of your body, feeling yourself in that vision that represents what you want to work out, whether that's a relationship, money, whatever. Imagine yourself, feel it like it's now. And as we close, I'm just gonna say a quick prayer for everyone an intention and I'm going to pray to God but you know you can feel this source energy or universe whatever you want say God I ask that each and every person doing this activation is shown the wisdom is given the clarity is brought the support into their lives so that they can move forward so that they can really see what is stopping them from it working out if they have not had that insight already, may it come to them in the following days. May they be lighter. May they see their truth. And may they trust in the perfect timing for them. I ask that they feel more love, more light, and more of what they want now. This is not about having to have it all work out. It's about believing now that they are whole. So take a deep breath, believing, oh, my head's tingling as I'm saying this, and breathing out, choosing to believe that you are whole now and you don't need anything. And taking a breath in, and just stretching, 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 arms to the heavens, and then just bring down the energy from the heavens. Do that two more times. Thank you for those that stayed on. How do you feel? So, yeah, let me know if anything came up for you right in this moment or afterwards. Um, just be aware with EFT tapping. Sometimes things can come up the next day or two. Sometimes things can be stirred up. Everything's perfect. Trust the process. Know that everything's working for you. Um, drink lots of water today. You might notice that you'll be burping or yawning or feeling these shifts of energy because we cleared some of that energy for you. You're welcome, Melissa. Um, and I have some videos on YouTube. You can go to my channel, Fit Soul. I've got some, yeah, I've got some other videos. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people which really help going more into the subconscious because I use my intuitive abilities and I know the right scripting to get things um, bringing things up to the surface and then I like I talk through things and mentor and coach people while I'm doing it as well so if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one session just reach out to me in that but I've got so many free things I also have you know an awesome colleague who does EFT this way as well so I can link you to so many different um, resources but uh, let me know what's coming up and just you know, go deep into why it's not working out for you. There's so many different reasons like there's so many so many layers to this I've done just a brief um, you know, tapping, but there's many different layers. So if you feel like what's coming up for you, it's not working out because you don't feel worthy or you're going into sabotaging patterns, um, then you might need to specifically do work around those things. So yeah, let me know what's coming up because I, I might have another video that you can do um, that, that goes deeper into that. Um, and knowing, like, I, I'll share something with you. Awesome, Lorraine. Yeah, go through the from the beginning. I'll share something with you as well that that has been coming up for me. Um, I'm learning a lot more about human design and I interviewed my friend on my page. You can see two interviews with her and just learning about our, our design and how we work is really powerful because I could see areas in my life not working out. And it was because I was living in accordance, uh, living in opposition to my human design <laughs> and becoming super sensitive and um, having resistance because of my sensitivities. So there's so many layers to this. I just wanted to support people 
in whatever way I can in this moment. Um, but I'd love to support you more. So just reach out if you, if you need anything. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, yeah, hopefully you can, if you tune in late, just go back and watch it from the beginning and let me know what comes up for you. So have a beautiful day and I'll see you another time. Bye for now.